Hello DeKalb County, this is Tucker Payne and I am with the Excelsior Art Academy. I am, me and my brother, he's behind the camera, who we, we have been in Excelsior's two latest plays, plays being The Nutcracker and, and The Little Red Riding Hood. I was an actor while Charlie was the sound guy for those, and we are, and today we're going to read a story called... 47 Beavers on the Big Blue Sea. Okay. See, this is one of the Payne family's favorite books, so we always liked it. And I thought Mom would be coming, but she, she wasn't here today. I don't know. She, she said she couldn't. So, yeah. And it's also sung by Pill Vitcher, and it goes, Bill Vitcher, and it goes along to a song. So, well, we should, so we, we can't sing at all. So we decided to just go along with the song. Now, before we start the book, I wanna, I like this quote here that, that's from the Bible, and it says that two are better than one because they have a good reward for their toil, but for if they fall, one will let the other. And then Phil wrote, 47 are even better than two. So we, now let's start. Deep in the Northwest Territory, where the woods look down on the Western Sea, and the trappers trap so merrily, for the streams are oh so beavery. One day in 1842, a trapper by the name of Stu came down to the beach and said, Hello, I need a boat or a big canoe. I need a lift on down the coast to the nearest beaver trading post where they'll shake my hand and raise a toast to Trapper Stu, who trapped the most. So he piled what he caught in a rather small boat and asked the young sailor to give him a quote. No way, said the sailor with fear in his throat. There's too many beavers. It ain't gonna float. And as they debated man to man, the beavers developed a curious plan. And the beavers pulled up on the oars, and the beavers rowed away from shore, and the beavers two, and the beavers three, and forty-seven beavers on the big blue sea. No one thought that beavers were capable of scheming. If you'd say they'll row away, most folks would say you're dreaming. But here they were, and there they went, across the briny blue, calling out a cadence like a real Olympic crew. For a week or two, the beaver crew rode the Great Pacific, till from the north a storm blew in with winds that were terrific. And one by one their oars blew off and vanished, mercy me, and 47 beavers were left bobbing in the sea. Well, the beavers bobbed upon the sea, and the beavers sobbed in misery, and the beavers two, and the beavers three, forty-seven beavers on the big blue sea. This is bad, they cried. We feel like Noah in his ark. Then their bad got worse, because they were staring at a shark. Alas, alack, we're doomed, they wailed. The shark showed his incisors. A drift at sea, and that will be a fishy's appetizers. Then one small beaver stood and faced the others from the bow. He said, our time will come someday, but it ain't coming now. When we all work together, there's a lot that we can do. So let's show that big bully that we've got incisors, too. Ninety-four big beaver teeth flashed out from the boat. One old shark was so surprised his heart jumped in his throat. Never mind, he muttered as he vanished in the blue. It's no fun biting dinner if your dinner's biting you. Well, the beavers flashed their pearly whites and the shark he vanished out of sight. And the beavers two and the beavers three. Forty-seven beavers on the big blue sea. That's good, they said, but we're still stuck. We'll die here on a reef. Not so fast, the young one said. God gave us more than teeth. With that, he jumped back to the stern and dangled down his tail and started slowly. 
flap in the water like a little beaver whale. And soon the others joined him, and with all that beaver power, their little boat was skimming waves at 40 miles an hour. And the beavers slapped their big flat tails, and the beavers raced like killer whales, and the beavers two, and the beavers three, and 47 beavers on the big blue sea. Three more weeks went by, and soon they all began to mope. We're getting tired of paddling. We're starting to lose hope. Then ahead they saw a sight that made them a holler, Wowie! Forty-seven beavers had just discovered Maui. They hit the land and kissed the sand, a sign of their Thanksgiving. But soon began to mope again. How will we make a living? This island ain't for beavers, and we're not pedicurists. I've got it, cried the little guy. We'll entertain the tourists. So the beavers built a beaver lodge, and the tourists came for food and punch. And the beavers, too, what do you know? Forty-seven beavers in a dinner show. Forty-seven beavers in a dinner show. So why do I tell this story? What's the point for me and you? We might find ourselves someday trapped by Trapper Stew, or staring down our own big sharks, or facing nasty weather. But we've been blessed, and things go best when we all work together. And the beavers pulled up on the oars, and the beavers rode away from shore, and the beavers too, and the beavers three. Forty-seven beavers on the big blue sea, forty-seven beavers on the big blue sea. Look cute.